Uh, the Guilty Gear Strive bracket. I'll put the bracket up real quick so I can tell you what part. Oh, well, we're in Winter Semi. So we're in, um, I believe that's top four, top five. Something of that nature. We've got Mango versus Slab Beef. Both very cracked players. Mango, of course, uh, the avatar of patience on Earth. Uh, slab of Beef. Uh, themselves also just genu genu genuinely, I know how to say words, I promise, a very good player. Um, and this, I mean, this is a bruiser matchup, I feel like. You got you got the guard point, that's probably a little bit scary to do, because I don't imagine it beats uh, what, Tim Combuster. But, uh, you got high damage on both sides. You got kind of simple neutral on both sides, if I'm going to be honest. And you got tough characters on both sides. And I think we're in for a slugging match. So far, uh, it's been going in Slab of Beast's favor, but you can never really count uh, Mango Copter out because he's very good at adapting. He's very good at paying attention to what you're doing and giving you enough rope, uh, you know, to hang yourself with, forcing you or hoisting you on your own petard. We are seeing very good offensive conversions on the part of Slab of Beast here, though. Which, I mean, you really need to see that against Potemkin because you've got a lot of health to chew through, and if you fuck up on offense, you're going to get punished pod busted, and your character will be deleted from the game. So I'm glad that we're seeing that uh, from Slab of Beef, keeping them uh, in the match here behind on this round, but can't convert off of mid screen there even with a bar of meter. So the round is not over yet, and now we see the Anji corner pressure. And I'm gonna be honest, I still don't really know what Anji does. I just know when he does the thing where you have to like either jump or kick or you know do one of several things in order to beat it. That's the only part of his offense I actually understand. The hit stun robbing our Potemkin, who insists on getting the pot buster that is rightfully his back. Refusing to be robbed by the game. How come when I do something like that, when I say fuck it, I'm doing it again, you're not taking it away from me, I get hit. But when Mango does it, he wins the round. That's not fair. That's not fair. Someone explain this. I don't explain it by saying that he's better at the game than me, because I will drive no satisfaction from, them, from that. Very quick round there. Potemkin damage, Potemkin damage. Um, and uh, game one is taken by Mango Copter. <laughs> who I would imagine generally in Strive, probably if you're fighting Mango Copter, probably Mango Copter is the favorite, so. Um, but Slab of Beef, I would say, is on the list of people who could take it uh, off of Mango. You know, you got, you got a handful of people there. I think Slab has absolutely, they have risen to that level. But they're going to need to get some offense going here. All right, they're gonna need some, some Bombo Strings of offense. Just to bring it, to bring Potemkin's margin of error, of error down, right? You gotta you gotta get Potemkin into a position where if he doesn't block right, he dies, and he's got so much health to work with. Um, especially when you don't get to just instant transmission around every corner of the screen like so many Guilty Gear characters get to do. And so far, it just, it looks like Mango's just found an adaptation. He's found a seam. He's going down that seam. Um, and yeah, that's the zone. That's it for, for any fighting gameplay. That's where you want to be. And right now, that's where he's living. Just carving a, a bloody trail. A bloody trail through the Anji health bars here. We have some signs of life from Slab of Beef. But there's more chip in this game than there is in, in Street Fighter. Any non fd hit could be it, or a trade. And a quick game, too. Slab of Beef now. They're back. Is against the wall. To be perfectly honest, they gotta get, they gotta get in the the war cry from Mango. Okay, reset reset the momentum. I like that. I like that as a decision to reset the momentum. Try to ice Mango Copter a little bit. Get him off of the roll that he was just that he was just on. Also play to the camera a little bit. I guess just. Uh, because you can, I assume. And you know what? I respect it. I also respect. I also respect this solid offense. Mega bursts. He says, get off of me. Get in the corner. Slab says, no, I don't want to go in the corner. I don't like the corner. Maybe you should get in the corner. Another burst. We're seeing some early bursts here. But with the kind of damage, excuse me, the kind of damage these characters can do, I'm not, I'm not terribly surprised that we would see some early bursts. You want to hold the ground. You don't want to get pushed in the corner. You don't want to eat 
a big combo. I feel like anytime Anji touches me, uh, I lose at least half of my life. Um, and I'm sure even the temp hits if you're paying. So. Uh, much closer, much closer this round. Still on close down, still on over. It's still anybody's round. Well, it was anybody's round until I opened my big fat mouth, but much closer that round. We're seeing some some adaptation from Slab of Beef. They're going to need to bring a, the adaptation up a little bit more, though, if they want to take this. Um, and so far, we're not seeing the Deflect Shield to get... to get... oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry. To give Tempkin away from them, but it doesn't hold. And the Slappy Hands close out the set. I I don't know. I haven't heard super recent Potemkin discourse, but I feel like Potemkin. Yeah, people downplay Potemkin.